Welcome to the Crucial Classics Bring Your Own Copy series, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to watch all of the biggest titles from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Crucial Classics. If this is your first time here, welcome. Take a look at our channel. Plenty of content for you to binge. If you love old movies, you've landed in the right spot because what we do on this channel is watch them together from start to finish. I do all of the legwork for you of sourcing the film. So click on any of my thumbnails because you notice that there are stars from the movie and the title on the thumbnail is the name of the movie. That's because we have the ability to watch it together from start to finish. We will both push play at the same time and we will be in sync and that is what we do on this channel. Let's start looking at the wall of my living room here that is decorated like this because old movies are important to me for the past 32 years now. So today's title is a first time watch for me. I cannot believe this because I have it pulled up and ready to go. And just in the title information it says 1939 you gotta be kidding me people so I already have very high expectations I actually have seen tidbits of this movie ever and there's one line in it that I loved so I've heard Olivia de Havilland talking about working off and on like a lot right with Earl Flynn he probably you know there's these stats Oh, George Brent made 11 movies with Betty Davis. I'm sure Olivia de Havilland probably co-starred the most with Errol Flynn in her career. And she was talking about one of the period drama movies that they were doing <laughs> where he was kind of needing to wear tights and stuff. And she said she deliberately kept on messing up the take so that they would have to keep doing a kissing scene because she was punishing him. <laughs> It's her words. I don't know what the heck that was for, but I was watching her say that. Um, and she lived to like 103 years old, right? Joan Fontaine's sister, their feud. Um, so I have seen a scene in this movie where Errol Flynn says something to her. I feel like he's referring to a flower and he says the flower is as pretty as your face. Something like that where just that quick she got a compliment letting her know she's got a beautiful face like a flower. It was, he's real slick, huh? He's, he's got game. <laughs> he doesn't even need it though, right? <laughs> so um, I'm interested to see what this one is all about. I've also found access to several other big titles of his that we'll watch. It was a toss up right now between this and probably the one he's most famously known for, but I wanted to see this because I kind of don't want to see him in tights right now. Like I'm just not in the mood for that type of a picture right now. So Dodge City, I think will definitely get the job done giving us our first Errol Flynn on the channel. We do have some Olivia de Havilland already gone with the wind, um, but yeah. Let's see, I don't know anything other than that one little scene from it. I don't want to look it up. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, digital products that I'm offering right now, photo packs. You guys can see I love classic film photography. I've decorated my home with it. I have been on the hunt on the internet finding pictures that I am allowed to sell to you. And I'm putting them together in packs. So I'm started out with a 2023 digital calendar. It's digital because you just download it, you get instant access to it, and then you can print it because it's a PDF file. You also get JPEGs that you can use as your computer desktop background. I'm loving that. Then I created a movie diary. So I know I will have had, and maybe I'm putting it up right now, the information from this film that I will gather from the opening credits. This movie diary was a product on the market in 1939 for the avid movie goer. They go to the movie, fill in their little movie diary. The way it was marketed is that movie producers in Hollywood at that time would be the ones that want the access to your inside thoughts on how did they do with this film. Um, I upped the ante by putting, in addition to our ability to put our critique, memorable quotes, that type of thing, a picture from the movie. Um, prompts that will up our crucial classics connoisseur ability. Um, we need to pay attention and start to develop, see what patterns develop for us of our favorite studios, our 
favorite screenplay writers, our favorite composers. You guys know I'm always obsessed with who does the costumes, but I think too, let's start to recognize producers and directors. So that is very helpful for it. That's also a digital download. That being the case, you print it out and make a hard copy of it if you would like, or you fill it in electronically as I'm doing. Um, what else? Then I started doing the photo pack. So from that uh, 2023 calendar with 12 featured stars of the month, I had montages, photo montages on them. And then I just took each one of those pictures, blew it up. I found a few extra pictures. They're all eight and a half by 11 size. You can print them or put them in a digital photo frame because they come as a PDF and also PNGs I believe I'm giving to you because it's a little bit higher quality. I know I'm giving you PNGs. It's higher quality file than a JPEG. If you get a digital photo frame, which I have a link to in the description of my videos, it would just cycle them through. I've got a 68 pack. Then I just went, I have a pack that I designed of them in sunglasses. <laughs> that is hilarious, but it's really cool people. Um, and then I went star by star. So Frank Sinatra, Ava Gardner, I'm gonna, Audrey Hepburn, Marilyn Monroe, um, Ginger Rogers, Greta Garbo, um, Cary Grant, and I know I'm missing somebody, but they're on the screen. So Ingrid Bergman, yeah. Been a lot of fun getting those together. Had some success making some sales over on Etsy. Everything is over on Etsy, so just go ahead and check the description of the videos. There's always just links directly over to things. I also have a member site. All the films over there are individual rental availability. $2 gives you 30 days access to any title that you see over there. I have a package of every film that's here on this YouTube channel, also over there because it's completely ad-free on that channel. Miss Jane, I, I've got some people to remember now. Miss Jane, thank you so much. You were the first person that made use of my site because you did the rental of Roman Holiday. The biggest movie on this channel, again, like I say, I don't necessarily know why I'm not mad at it, but you obviously wanted to watch it ad free. Mr. Ali, I'm so excited about Mr. Ali. I'm so thankful for Mr. Ali because he has kind of stepped into that member exclusive space with me and he rented the watch along for Jezebel, 1938, Betty Davis's Oscar, best actress, Oscar winning performance. So I really thank you for that, Mr. Ali. I hope you enjoyed. And then Ms. Joni, thank you for doing a purchase of a photo pack off of our Etsy shop. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think that that's about it. Oh, don't forget to vote until March 23rd for the viewer pick of the month. We are going to have that every month. Um, a poll is on the community tab. There is a link in the description of this video, but just get to the community tab. When you especially are using YouTube on your computer, your phone, your TV, you come to somebody's overall channel where you can then just navigate through all of their content. You can access it on your TV, but on your other devices, there's a little tab that says community and that's where you can scroll through. I haven't put too many other posts on the community tab this month, so I think it might only be like the third or fourth post back. But the two movies to vote on are Kitty Foyle from 1940 with Ginger Rogers and Dennis Morgan. She wins her Best Actress Oscar for that. And then Jubal from 1956 with Glenn Ford, Ernest Borgnine, and Rod Steiger. Um, that one, as of right now, is in the lead. And, you know, we have quite a few more votes going on than we did last month as well. So still have time until, um, is it next Tuesday already though? Um, and then we'll be watching that movie on Saturday the 25th. That's enough of this intro. Um, Dodge City, I've got a run time, hour 44 and two seconds, I do believe. It's been on the screen and let me get it queued up and we'll watch together. I'm doing a mukbang today, starving to death. I'm also very exhausted, so I'm sorry. I know that I look like it, um, but we need to get through this title. I'm very excited for it. I just um, know that I look exhausted, so I'll be right back. Okay, got my food. I forgot to point out the ways to watch making it work no barrier to entry you are only able to access this video of me on your app on your tv you watch the movie on your phone you go to the description of my video via your phone because you don't have access to it that way on your tv but every link that is available in the description of my video you can access on your phone you navigate to the film you can launch the film push play on it watch it from start to finish ad free on your phone the video of me on your tv making it work, no barrier to entry.
do everything on one device, set it up on your computer or your tablet, do me in one tab, the movie in another, they'll lock side by side, pull the movie to take up more of the screen, take an HDMI cable from whatever device you just set that up, that up on, plug it into your TV. Now it is one screen and on your biggest screen. Same concept is casting. It's all wirelessly. You start by casting your device to your TV. Launch the movie, push play on it, get any lag out of the way, pause it and rewind it back to zero. Come back to this video of me, play on TV, picture in picture, it shrinks me, floats me. Move me to a small corner of the movie. That's a, the intended and exact way that I always watch my stuff played back. I set it up like that with that picture in picture setup, still using my HDMI cable because I cannot rely on casting. My signal drops all the time. So that is what we do. All right. Playing in three, two, one, click. Okay, Warner Brothers. So this is so interesting because when I was saying that I bet that Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland co-star the most with each other in their careers, Olivia de Havilland was with Warner Brothers? That's the part of this situation. And Anne Sheridan, there you go. Um, I know Errol Flynn. Most of his films that I've ever, I really haven't seen any of his films, except for this really rare one that TCM played one time. Him, that lady from, directed by Michael Curtiz, we've seen him. He did Casablanca. The lady from The Sound of Music, they have a little girl, it's Christmas time, it's supposedly like a Christmas movie, it's a pretty rare Max Steiner, wow. Was it either the head for the costumes? I know I just talked over that. Or did I? not I guess it's a big deal that it's in color huh Milo Anderson we have seen him before I can't remember in what right now but so the first time I'm seeing him, so the Civil War has ended, armies disband, the nation turns to the building of the West. Is it going to be about, like, the railroads and stuff? I'm, there's a train in it, I've seen. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Kansas in 1866. Oh, the war just ended. This is cool in color, huh? <gasps> it's beautiful! It's just like Jesse James. Is this the way this dude has to talk? What movie is this guy in? We see him in a lot of things. Is he General Bogardus? He is from Jezebel. Buffalo? Oh, no. The stagecoach? Okay, so these are in competition, like, the train is just now starting to give a the stagecoach competition, and they carry the mail, because the train people said, we'll be carrying the mail next. Don't hurt those horses like that. He was already talking shit about how if he didn't rest them, they were gonna collapse and so right now he's exerting them like this. What is gonna happen to these? So I'm gonna lose it if these horses stop.
Oh, F and K. It's too much. It's a new age, fools. Damn. An iron horse. Oh, that's what that means is a train. Oh. Oh, okay. No. All their trains ain't gonna go that fast if they have more than three cars. What are they doing? Are they about to steal them? Uh, here he goes. Oh, they built it? Oh, they built the railroad. Okay, um... <laughs> was it? When he first did it, I needed to know what it was for. Are, okay, are they bandits? Are they going to be proud of seeing their work going by? Are they going to race the train? Why are the buffalo running away? The train is too close to them. They just um, built the track. Are they going to get shot out? How are they going to pay their respects? Dude? They're just going to race along the train? Oh, no, they know who they are. They're not mad at it. Oh, uh, where are they all going to? We'll be there. They're going to Dodge City. Oh, Dodge. Rap for it, you know. That's the Mr. Wilkerson, the overseer from Gone with the Wind. Um, is this a problem? No, right? Like, these are women and children, or no? They're big for being a gang. What is going on here? Oh, so Errol Flynn's rolling deep. Why are they rushing up on these people, Ritter? Okay. check him out being a good person oh how are you gonna do that oh he's like bring it the f on full you know where we roll we're rolling over there right now i mean that was a very righteous little reason that this all went down right now as opposed to the Santa Fe Trail which we will never be watching on this channel people. I, You know I've had upload channels in the past where I just put on the movies. 
I was so excited to find an Errol Flynn movie. I had, I did not watch Santa Fe Trail. I just put it on the channel. It did great overnight. I come back the next morning. I'm trying to sit through that show. I was like, oh, hell, no, I am black. I ain't putting shit like that on my channel. How to take it off right away. So thank goodness it's not that type of a theme that he's portraying right now. Oh, if this is in Kansas. Okay. Is it gonna get stupid with him? Cause he's not gonna stay. Why is he a liar? This dude always plays the military mountain. Why well, there's gonna be a transcontinental? Oh. Oh, okay. Is somebody going to take him out right now? Is that why they call it Dodge City? I don't know. Something just seems... The way he's like this. Well, after himself, but I thought, like, maybe they'd do it because he would pass away... Okay. Okay, he's he's fine, right? Well, is this already it? I mean, Dodge City. Okay, no, a few years later, we're cut all center of the world and wide open Babylon. Oh, of the American frontier, packed with settlers, thieves, and gunmen. Okay. Rolling in wealth from the great Texas trail herds, the town that knew no ethics but cash and killing. Oh, uh, damn! They don't have a sheriff. So it didn't become a thing that that man was talking crap about for it to be. Oh, it, it's just filled with brothels. <laughs> same town that Darling Clementine is set in, that OK Corral is about. Dodge City gets a lot of play in movies, right? So, it's six years later. Is this... I thought it was Errol Flynn. Okay, these fools are no good though right here, right? But now they're doing cattle instead of buffalo or whatever. What happened to them? And did they 
not survive. Well, are you the sheriff? Like, how are you, what are you doing? Like a citizen's arrest? Somehow this man don't seem like he's gonna have the money. Okay, well, I hope you have more than a wooden gun full. Um, okay, so this is the saloon. How did he say he's slapping a warrant on him? Okay, um, they shoot in the streets. Why is he leaving him unattended out there like that? Well, good that he's not bringing him in here. Is this the exact same time frame as when they were just telling us how it is Babylon? I'm needing to understand how this man can do anything about the law. And $15,000? So he was already... Oh, there's Ann Sheridan. He shipped that man's cattle. She was married to George Brent for one year. She married George Brent the year. No, it wasn't the year after. I feel like it was from 1942 to 43. Oh, okay, so she's this lady. He owns the saloon, and he's got to go up to his office to get this fool's money, which of course he's not going to do. Is it his tobacco or something? Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did the baby have a mother? I was going to ask. Why was he there by himself with, like, why was he not with his mother? Where did he go? I don't see him. Oh, he's all kneeled down. Is that his mother? Oh, these fools are there. So this is how they do business, because this man owns that saloon, has the 15000 and be coming up with reasons to shoot. He's eight years old, maybe. Okay, so they do have a marshal.
No, I saw that. Oh, I, okay, you know what? Are they CKs? <laughs> okay. Are they going to do the K part? No, they're just going to ride him out of town. So, the marshal was a one-man show. He don't have nobody has got his back. That's <laughs> all they had to do was load him up. <laughs> Who's this? kids? Okay, so this is Kansas that Dodge City is in. Oh, they're coming like this. They're not coming on a train. Who who are they? Where is Errol Flynn? I was going to say, oh wow, where is he? Nice. This is who they're expecting. Drunk, is that what I said? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is she all powdered up about? Like, she looks like she got flour all over her. Well, this is her brother. He's back. Oh, they're not kids. shooting at he's not oh, okay mm, mm, mm. are they gonna come disarm him um yes Yeah, you be your brother's caper, Kavrona. That's what he just told her. Well, they're not that young. <laughs> and just because they're going to Dodge City, Errol, he doesn't stay there. He's always going back and forth to Texas. So this is what they do now. They were doing, wasn't he saying cattle? He was going back to Texas to do cattle, but now he, oh, they are moving cattle too. So he's just a little safety man for the stage. Well, they're not stage coaches. Huh? They're the frontier people. Coming to settle in, my great grandma, who I'm named after, she was born in the Indian Territory. That's like what they're traveling to, I'm gathering. 
pour through and on to Dodge City. Why the F would these people be trying to come to Dodge City, though? They're in the New York newspapers. Like, they're widely known for how bad they are. Not a place to come and try and raise a family, set up a little homestead. I mean, like, unless they're trying to settle this far out of town. Yeah, why are you coming? Oh, they don't have any living relatives except for their uncle. Oh, no, that's right. Nice. Yeah, okay. Oh! Uh, he's gonna stampede the cattle? He's gonna shoot somebody here. Well, somebody should. So he just stays drunk. He's going to shoot someone. Huh? He's reloading. Take it from him. Someone needs to come and knock him out and take it from him. Yeah. Okay, I knew he was protection. They tell him this many times about his gun. <laughs> he shot him um, where... Oh, and the cattle. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, so she's going to have a problem with him. Had become a whole entire um, attempted 
killer. He was aiming his gun at two people. He just sucks as a shot. Hmm, okay, so that was thorough, that little conversation they had just had about how she mothers him. Okay, so she's not going to F with him. Um, that's interesting because, like I said, I know there's a scene where he tells her there's a flower as pretty as her face. And she lets him say that to her, but it, it's got to be a long way. Is he from New Zealand? Huh? He's very delightful. He is a nice serving of I can't. Yeah. He's, but he is from New Zealand. Um, there's no, who else in Hollywood in this time was from New Zealand? Isn't that where he's from? <laughs> Smells. <laughs> That's that little boy. He's six. Poor baby. Oh, they're in the barber shop. And they stink. Uh, does he give them baths? Yeah, the only baths have between Chicago and Denver. Wow. <laughs> this pulls in solid dollars with. his money. He knows that. Oh, don't rush him. It is one bathroom. Don't you recognize him? Yeah.
<clears throat> oh my god. Oh. In color, he is. Woo! And he's tall to her. He's six three her. I mean, this man is a problem. Wouldn't advise what? <clears throat> oh, she's not accepting the apology. I love the turquoise. <clears throat> oh, this is a nice time. I am thoroughly enjoying the scenery. So Errol Flynn's trying to get him too? People, I have never seen him in color. Oh my, I cannot, I am having a hard time in here. <laughs> Do they do business like that? In cash? Uh... You kind of heard his little accent there, huh? Oh, and he wants his money, huh? <laughs> Oh, this dude's coming to pay. He's not going to be able to make it to the room home. He's not already there.
This poor baby, he doesn't get to go to school. Huh? He's got to be out here earning a living. This. Somebody, is this fool just coming down right now? Oh, he's one of the, the crew. He didn't look familiar to me. Oh, it's just the pace. <laughs> Cattle Baron meets Dev. Yeah, what was that up there for? Was it a reward or something, or it was just a little gossipy bulletin about it? Oh, is he coming in here to say don't put stuff up? <laughs> what call does he have to make? Who is he coming to call him? Oh, that's this. I thought we were seeing Errol Flynn's path. Oh, young man. Is she a pro or? <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Why? <laughs> That's weird that he really meant that, it seems like. Oh, damn. 
social circle. Ladies social circle. Is he going to be allowed in here? <laughs> Is he looking for a wife? Yeah, that, that girl was a pro. I already hoped. And a little piece of cake. <laughs> well, I thought that he was looking for a wife. Why is he in there? <laughs> I never knew all of the words to this song. Somebody's not singing them. Okay, well that song that's playing right now I was I'm like while they were marching through Georgia is that a Yankee song and then I was seriously was sitting here processing like okay this is for there's Ward Bond all right these are the feds the confeds and they were singing a Yankee song The war is over, right? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what? Okay, well, it's crazy in here. Is he giving a speech? This dude's interesting, Holly. Like, he's really trying to get his life together, set it straight. This just happens, right? But is he going to look for an opportunity to shoot somebody right now? Oh, so they're tearing up his saloon, right? Oh, he got in on it? <laughs> He's tearing up his own saloon. Wow. Okay, I mean, what's the wrap up here? <laughs>
Oh, is he getting in on it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought fighting isn't good, but is he just trying to get them out of the room? No. What did he come and jump in on this for? Okay, when is it going to turn to shooting? <laughs> this is stupid. Okay. What's the point? <laughs> oh, he, he rolls with that dude? She's going to get hurt, huh? Was that a, I'm saying, who's shooting? Okay, this is the longest brawl I've ever seen. <laughs> they get a good one going in um, the Angel and the Bad Man. But this, this is crazy. Okay. Mm. You're probably going to get shot for like Where's this lady? Oh, it's all wasted now. <clears throat> are they gonna, I hate to say it, but like, are they gonna tar and feather him? What in the whole entire taking him out oh my good no they were not going to do that So they were going to have some fun. Is there a sheriff for, like, who is it? Because they ran the, um, marshal out of town home. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's closed. It's not staffed, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, would you mind writing out an order for yourself? I was just like that. <laughs> Where did you go? He was trying to. <laughs> Oh, he's a proud member. <laughs> this man. Oh, my. Gosh, his chin too? Yeah, I had to help his friend. Oh, she spoke to the room, huh? Hmm. Okay, so does he leave for a little bit? Oh, they have a church. So he was leaving to go back to his little cattle travels. Oh, he hasn't left yet. Oh no, no, no!
Well, that was one of the most horrific things I've seen. He's the sheriff now. I uh, didn't see. That other fool is the sheriff still, right? Although you know that other fool thinks that he's this sheriff. They made him the sheriff and then he just walked away. doing that to folks here, huh? Oh, this is the paper of that dude who be talking all kinds of shit, huh? How does he enforce this? Does he be collecting people's guns? I feel like Henry Fonda does that. Oh, he's you, right? This is sorry. Why is this dude still out and about? Why are they talking to each other? And he don't be paying people for it. But it'll be working for him. And you went? Oh dang, that's a lot in the 1800s. Why in the world are they speaking to each other? That's why they're talking to each other. All right. Oh, why don't you just rip? Oh, he came here just to personally tell him about his gun. Okay, they have just a little hook system. I was wondering if there really was a place to collect the guns by scambling to be regulated. Alright, that's, yeah, that's why the bars close at 2am now, a days. Good for him. So this dude's name.
Cartman. Why do they have what's in these bags? Oh, guns. Oh. Oh, the jail stays crowded. <laughs> oh, three days down. Clean up draws new settlers. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, they have a train station right to the town entrance, huh? Okay, there's ladies on the street. Uh, oh, she's working for the paper. <laughs> oh, so she's the fashion column. How long is this to stay in her? Oh, is he leaving? No, he's leaving, huh? He has a little filing system. Oh. He's a trouble starter. Wow. <laughs> That was stupid. Oh, this fool can be collecting taxes too? It's all of the government. That girl works here. Well, she won't talk to him, still him. Or will she, now that he's the sheriff?
told her it was unladylike. Oh. <laughs> oh, does he have to get that close to her? Oh, really? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, is this the barber? His name is Hatton. Is uh, I thought his gun. <sighs> Damn. Oh yeah, be careful of him. Fun, I'm liking this movie. But where are we going? Oh, is she riding with him? This is what she's wearing when he says, as beautiful as your face. I love what she's wearing. What do they write out here alone for? You know? Um, okay. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's a little scandalous that they wrote out here alone. Okay, um, thanks. 
please. Okay, I'm not mad at that scene. There was nothing necessary about that scene, but for that. Is this the lady that lost her son? A pretty outfit she had on. He didn't get it. No. Don't they have lawyers? Oh, they're going to put it in the paper. Oh, I'm gonna put him on blast. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he lost it in the brothel. He likes to wait with this full. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Is there gonna be a shot through the window here? Why are we seeing this? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it's about to happen. Who's this? Okay, all right. She didn't lock it. 
Is somebody in here already? Uh, they're gonna start a fire. Or no. Oh, jeez. They had a key. Any key? So somebody has that. Sheridan. I don't quite get it. I, you know what though? There is a movie that I have seen her in, Unfaithful. I found it. We'll watch it. I say that to you guys. I promise we're gonna watch these movies. We just have a lovely backlog to get to. I liked her in that movie. It seemed to be kind of a remake of The Letter. Oh, this is Yancey. And there's um, Ward Bond, too. Yeah, let's see. That guy's kind of handsome himself, huh? the, him, the dad from Miracle Worker. There it is, all right. Does he have this gun on him? I was gonna say, we saw a gun pointed on him. Oh, he came in. He's handsome to her. The father from Quiet Man. Oh. <clears throat>
This dude still has his mutton chops from, um, Gone with the Wind. He has some epic <laughs> mutton, isn't that what they call those mutton chops in Gone with the Wind? And you can tell, like, he had a fun time growing those out. They looked like they were really his. And that right there is, like, the start of them. <laughs> this is 1939, too. He can't protect her. Oh, girl, you better go. I don't like this dress. <clears throat> nice and yummy and yay fun times <laughs> Dude convicted? This is the public defender. Well, that's what the mob is for outside, Paul. They're all outside. Oh, he did take a train. He's gonna say, yeah. That little man. Okay, don't um, hurt him. Why can't they just go through the trial?
um, Yeah, because whatever this fool was talking about, they would have little stakeouts along the way to hijack the carriage or whatever. <clears throat> okay, why did they all get into the carriage? I didn't see Yancy get into this thing. He did. But so did Errol Flynn and his crew. <laughs> they all got in here, but I didn't see Yancey. What does that say? Oh, uh, this is that place he said for him to come to. Oh, there he is, okay. What? The sheriff's getting on too? Like, they're not just putting that fool on by himself with Olivia de Havilland on here too. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, that was like way too easy. Is that word bond on top? I have come to know that man's name from watching this channel, doing my work on this channel. I've seen him over the years, of course, but I never knew his name. He's in Gone with the Wind, The Quiet Man, It's a Wonderful Life. What else? This. <laughs> what else? There's something else, though, too. Ah. Does she run and go tell? She better. I wonder what Malton would rate this movie. Is it three stars? It's definitely three. Is it four? Is that Surrey? Yes. Why did she not go alert Errol Flynn? She knows he's on this train. They knew that um, they're coming. Why is she just sitting there? Oh, they're gonna shoot this full Yancey. Uh oh. They're at really close range to be missing each other so much. My goodness. What is this that's falling out? Is it water or alcohol? Are they going to show Olivia de Havilland is just sitting there? water tower. Well, how far away is that, Full?
this was pretty stupid of her. I mean, I didn't need her to just walk in here like this. Are they just jumping off of the train or they're disconnecting the car? Oh, they locked him in there. I don't know that he had to carry her, but I know she didn't mind. Oh yeah, it's jumped to the other car. Who is this? Oh yeah, his getaway. Wow. So this is as big as this train is, like two cars. Four. Hurry up! Oh okay, you know, cause I was gonna say like, make a shot, dude. Okay, well, he then he did. Okay, my goodness. Coming back after 25 years. Oh, because he went and built the transcontinental railroad. Oh, so it's worse than this place ever was. Oh, they're all gonna go. So, okay, I mean, Oz is he married? What a pretty little dress.
Does she have milk and cookies? Oh, it's lemonade. Huh? Just go with him. That's your man, right? Okay, that's all. It's just going with her man. I know that's right. Well, that's a great ending. Okay, just let it be. Not a question, not a problem. Stop billing. Oh, I wanted to see uh, Yancey's name. I, I know I missed it because I wanted to know it's that dude's name. Let me see him a bit. Alrighty then. Like and subscribe. Our next movie will be the viewer pick. So you guys have the chance to vote for that through next Tuesday or Thursday it's actually through Thursday that's the reason why because I was like Tuesday is already the 23rd no <laughs> next Thursday is the 23rd so yep through next Thursday the 23rd and we will watch your results on the 25th see you then bye bye thank you guys so much for watching this movie with me I hope you had as much fun as I did hey hit that thumbs up button for me especially if you're hearing my voice saying this right now <laughs> you watched to the end um, go ahead and subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can always be aware of our newest titles to watch together. See you next time.